YouTube, what is up? Coming at you from the car. It's 5.45, we about to head out to the gym for the morning. You saw a little bit of that morning routine that I got rocking. I'm not gonna lie, getting out of bed was hard today and it took me way too long, but you saw me packing those meals and taking the supplements and it's time for a leg day. So I'm finishing up this oatmeal. I usually like finish this meal up in the car and head over to the gym, sipping on some pre-workout, you know how it goes. But I'm really excited to take y'all along on this day in the life. It's gonna be a great time. I wanna highlight some of the meals that I'm eating, some of the things that I'm doing now that I'm living in Indianapolis. The gym that I go to is pretty dope. So I wanna show you all, all the things. I love these day in the life vlog videos and I wanna keep it valuable as well. So I'm gonna be sprinkling in some gems here and there. Oh God. Guys, if you know me, I always start off my leg days with hamstring curls. So here I am on the Strive Lying Hamstring Curl. We got that setting on three, I believe. So most of that load is distributed toward the initial part of that range of motion because a well, little bit of a tip here for you guys, training muscles at the lengthened position has been shown to be more hypertrophic. That's a, that's a more recent thing, but we are just reps on reps not going for any type of crazy weight on these hamstring curls, but really getting them pumped up, getting that blood in the muscle. Because like I said, if you know me, you know that I really like to do a hamstring curl before a squat pattern. And that just makes the squat pattern feel really good. It gets your knee joints warmed up. Um, having that kind of pump in your hamstring curl, it's it's a, a kind of inexplicit inexplicable rather phenomenon, but it feels really good. So we're moving on to a Smith machine Bulgarian split squat. These felt a little funky on my hips over that mesocycle. So I did keep them pretty light, but the mind to muscle connection I get with the split, the split squats on the glute. And these felt a little funky, but the mind to muscle connection I get in my glutes while using the Smith machine is next level i feel like you also get a good amount of quad as you can see i get a good amount of uh, knee flexion or forward knee travel here and once again these are kind of just like i i really like to structure my leg days with a hamstring curl a unilateral movement here we're flipping over to the other side keeping that form on point on both sides this left side is the uh, hip that has been injured but I really like to structure my leg day training with a hamstring movement, a unilateral movement, and then a big, you know, quad focused movement, like a squat pattern, a leg press. My ultimate goal for legs is to get these quads up. And the way that my kind of order of exercise fits into things is that I'm getting my hamstrings nice and pumped and primed with the curls without any real interference into this unilateral work or into my quads. <clears throat> The unilateral work then really gets my glutes active, helps kind of get like coordination on point. And then we move on to the main movement of the day, which was the leg press. So here, you know, I, I don't have crazy weight on this Nebula leg press. I will say this is the best leg press you can get. Uh, it's not made by Arsenal Strength, but the Nebula leg press is an absolute classic. Hits my quads so well. So a couple of things with this setup here. You'll see down at the bottom, I actually have Versa gripped myself into this machine. I'm pulling myself very hard down into the seat. And then I have a pad under my butt and behind my back. And that's just to help get a little bit more range of motion. The pad behind my uh, back, that is, because I was bottoming out this leg press. You know I like training at full ranges of motion to really stretch those quads and, uh, and challenge them as I'm pressing all the way up through this mile-long range of motion that is my legs. And then the position under, or excuse me, and then the pad under my butt really helps target your quads rather than relying on glutes. Also try to position my feet as low as possible on that sled because that promotes more knee flexion once again, which is beneficial for quads. And I took these, you know, pretty hard. We're going close to failure. And this last rep will definitely be a little bit of a grinder. As you can see, my face turns purple. Pardon me. I had more reps after that. I think overall this was, you know, probably a two reps in reserve set. I didn't really take it to any crazy place, but we're definitely training hard and you feel it afterwards. Here's another angle to kind of show you um, some more of the specifics. There you can see that pad on my back just really helps 
separate myself from the leg press itself. Uh, another good thing to mention because we're breaking down this movement is I like to position the seat angle as low as possible. And I think that helps you bias quads as well. You know, we're getting some slight quad growth here, people. Nothing crazy, but you can see some definition. Whereas in the past, my legs have always, always been a weak point. But once again, really focusing on taking this sled nice and deep. Trust me, guys, I do not care how much you have on this leg press sled if you're not keeping good form and really targeting the muscle because what's it all for? Uh, no one really cares how much you leg press. This is a tool to enhance either your muscle size or to enhance strength as an accessory movement for powerlifting. So I'm not really concerned about displaying maximal strength on the leg press. It's just a tool to help me get toward my goal. And you can see the grinds starting here, pushing pretty close to failure, not quite to failure. Oof, there it is. And maybe, maybe one more rep here is what I'm thinking. Nice and slow, but still controlled with good form. And that one hurt. So here I have some absolute insanity for you guys, something for you to try out on your next leg day, and that is a cluster set of belt squats. So you're going to pick a weight that's around, let's say, 12 to 15 rep max, and you're going to hit it for reps. I believe here I did five, maybe six reps per mini set of this cluster set. So here you'll see my form trying to keep it as on point as possible, keeping my tempo under control. From there, I'm racking the weight after I hit my, I think it was six reps. I'm going to give myself about a 15 to 20 second break to kind of let those metabolites clear out and reset. And then we're right back into it. So cluster sets are absolutely brutal style of training, um, but it's a way to get a lot of reps in in a short amount of time. So if you're time constricted or if you just need an intensity technique to really cap off your training, I think cluster sets are a great way to go but the one thing is you have to choose a weight that allows you to really appropriately hit your target volume right so i have like 30 reps that i'm trying to get with minimal rest and yeah as you can see it's it's kind of taking me out and we're only just getting started so it's not for the faint of heart. Definitely uh, go into this knowing that it's not going to be the most fun thing. But if you're working toward a serious goal, it's what you got to do sometimes. Here we get into this third set of clusters. And I really want to break down my form here. So um, I ever so slightly break at my hips while simultaneously bending at my knees. Um, and this just helps me get into a good position where I have a lot of knee flexion. And it can kind of help my knees track directly in front of my toes. Um, some more good cues for quads is that tempo, taking a brief pause at the bottom and really focusing on driving straight up. Uh, you don't wanna like thrust forward too much because I think that helps you, or that would lead to you involving your glutes too much, which is fine if, uh, if that's your proclivity, but we're going for quads here. So here's the last set. This one was absolutely brutal. I'll let you watch through.
Alrighty guys, I finished up that leg day. It wasn't like the most intense leg day as I might have talked about in my picture in picture review. Uh, my training partner, Alyssa, which if you haven't seen her yet, you'll see her on the channel for sure. She wasn't feeling the best this morning. So I said, go ahead and just take some rest. She's a client as well. So like, I can't be too hard on her as much as I push that girl. So we are headed to work. Don't worry. My phone is in the little holder thing. And I always eat my meal on the way to work. Like I eat a lot of meals in the car just because I'll be eating six meals a day. And it does take a lot of time. I'm not gonna lie. It's like, if you think about it, that's like an hour of your day is just dedicated to eating, which can can take up some time. So I wanna key you guys into what like my job looks like. I work in a chiropractor's office and it's honestly like a great setup for me because I do like office manager stuff. I'll clean a little bit, answer the phone, get people scheduled, so on and so forth. And I can also get some content made, work on some online programs and just be really productive throughout the day. So it's like a great setup for me right now, pays the bills and it gives me some kind of financial freedom to really like work on building this business up and, and getting my content popping off. So I am a big fan of that setup and you guys will be seeing that right about now. Alrighty guys, just taking a little break from patients and from work, uh, but this is what work looks like for me. Love the building, pretty dope. Get a nice view of the street here and all of the almost car accidents that happen quite often. But yeah, today, as you saw, I have a very long list of things to do. We're just knocking them out. Um, it feels good to be productive, definitely. And like I said, this job is perfect because I can do some of my own stuff while I'm just up here doing the desk work. So, let's see, what's next? I'm going to get a post ready for this afternoon, promoting the podcast. Go check out the podcast with Dylan Greg if you haven't already. It's going to be a busy Friday, busy weekend, but um, some of this week wasn't the most productive, so we're making up for that. And I do not mind putting in the extra time on the weekends. I'm getting pizza for lunch today. So I'm pretty hyped about that. But I'm a little hungry right now. I might have another meal. Uh, stay tuned. Alrighty, guys. Meal three. About to go down. Standard chicken, veggies, and rice. The fat will be an avocado. Um, one thing I've been playing around with is doing more creatine as well. So I'm about to take another approximate five gram serving of creatine. Do the old spoon trick. Absolutely delicious. Right where I belong. Alright guys, it is Friday. We get out a little bit early on Fridays. It's 1 o'clock. And oh my goodness, I don't know. I, you obviously can't feel what I'm feeling right now because we're on a video, but this weather is absolutely gorgeous in Indianapolis, Indiana. So I think I'm going to go home, do some stuff, get some cleaning done, vacuum, mop, clean my bathroom, all the essentials, you know? And then uh, I, I do believe, you know, I mentioned my training partner, Alyssa, didn't make it to the gym today. I do believe I'm going to go train her and then record that and do like a video of me training her. Amongst some other things, I'm going to take a quick nap too because your boy's a little tired and if it's going to be a late night, which I, I think it might be, we're going to need some rest. But yeah, I'm going to drive home now. did two plates and a quarter for 12 last week. I'm going for 13 this week. How you feeling, Alyssa? Ready. She's getting her music. It's Tally the Creator. Let's get it. I'm here for the spot. Control all the way. Let's go. That was easy. Come on. Good. Nice. Pull yourself in hard. There it is. Good. Come on. Good. Nice. Good. Three times. Yep. Two times. Come on. Nice. Two 
going. Fifteen. Good. One more. Good. Good set. You got angry. What'd you get angry at? You. <laughs> Why? Man, I feel like I'm gonna throw up. All right, <laughs> let me go try to find a trash can. Well, we just wrapped on training. Alyssa had a great leg day. Uh, now it's like six o'clock, 5.30. And it's a beautiful day. Like I said, it's 70 degrees. So we're about to go take a walk somewhere in the downtown area. Um, get you some friends that like doing physically active things because I think that makes a big difference in helping you stay accountable for sure. I don't know, we might get into some fun stuff tonight. Uh, I'll take you along for the ride either way. And I'll definitely be showing you some of the sights for this walk. Hot girl walk out in the neighborhood, drinking our fair life drinks because we don't give a fuck about cow cruelty. And they taste really good. And they have how many grams? 30 grams of protein. Damn. <laughs> I mean, let's be real. That whole thing popped Beef? off. Oh, look, we got a cute puppy. We got a cute puppy. Cute doggy. It's like 67 degrees. We're out here thriving. It's 67 degrees and David's wearing a flannel jacket. I like to be warm, okay? Thank you, too. We're fucking close not to vlog because I think we're both about six drinks deep. But the message that we want to leave you with is never fucking settle. And never. Never settle for a blue ball either. Hey right, YouTube, so successful day in the life. It is currently 2.12 on the Uber back home. How can I, you even fucking read that? I don't know, man. It's a gift. I How guess. you feeling? Fucked up. Like I said, successful day in the life. We got a cool Uber driver. Though. Cool Uber driver, one of the best. He's got a great playlist at the very least. Uh, shit, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. It's been what we rocking with lately, so. Don't forget to hit 